I am now an official Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends content Legends. creator, and I wanted to share this moment with you guys in a video, and I wanted to thank you guys for 1,325 subs. Thank you for all the support that you guys have given me. I could not have gotten here without you guys, so thank you. So if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Burrito Slayer, or you can just call me Burrito. And I cover Raid Shadow Legends content. I'm going to tell you guys pretty much everything uh, about me as, as a player, as a content creator, uh, in case you are new. I've been playing since July of 2019 during the Foley Fusion. And I cover only Raid Shadow Legends content on this channel for the most part. If the future shows that Raid does die, and you know, it's a conversation we have like every three months because. Um, like for an example, me, I about two, two, almost three months ago, I even came out with my own video talking about is Raid dying, and you know, three months before that, there was another con. Thing. It's always a, a conversation, as a lot of the people in my comment section tell me, Raid is dying and the writing is on the wall. You guys already know that discussion. I'm going to cover Raid for as long as it is possible or makes sense for me to do so. I love Raid, I love the community, I love the game. I guess another discussion would be like, what do we quantify as Raid dying? Like, what does it mean for Raid to die? And so, if, you know, if that conversation happens one day and Raid does die, what am I going to do with this channel? If you stick around and you follow me, what are you gonna get out of it? I'm going to evolve. I'm going to adapt, I'm, I'm gonna overcome whatever it is. So if Raid does that, I'll probably move on to a different game. And you know, the reason I bring this up is because people have been asking me, what am I gonna do with this channel in case Raid does die, what's gonna happen? I'll, I'll probably find a different game to play and I'll play that. Uh, you know, Fateless, Hell Hades, and that whole team. Uh, a lot of our Raid content creators are part of that team, and I'd like to be part of that team one day too. I might even start my own channel and cover that game because, uh, you know, with, with that type of backing with Ash and Nubkex and Chosen and Hell Hades, like, the game has to be good right so we'll see that's something that i'm interested in i might evolve this channel into that in the event i'm not saying it's going to in the event that raid does actually die if we can quantify what dying means we'll we'll see where that goes so if you do stick around and in the future you wonder what i'm going to do five years from now probably a different game uh, but like it's going to be within the same realm of what this is of what raid is a mobile gotcha game uh, i like coffee that's one thing and i love my wife we have two cats I've uh, been covering Raid for officially like eight or nine months so far. If you have been with me since the beginning, and I'm talking about like the beginning, like my days on Twitch before I even got into YouTube when I was just streaming on Twitch for like 12, 13 hours a day. If you were there, you guys know or you guys knew that the main reason I wanted to get into the content creator program was for this the Avatar. When it comes to avatars, I just really like them. So I try to collect as many as possible, as many as I can get. And uh, this one was one that always escaped me, but I figured I could get it. These other ones right here, like Valkyrie and Riho and Tuanarok, I think you can only get from being like an artist or being involved in the community, uh, community in some way, but I'm not an artist, so it's not gonna happen. But I was like, you know what? I can make content, I can make videos, I can do something. And this was the main drive for me to do it. I didn't really care about any of the other things that come along with being a Raid Shadow Legends content creator. It's nice. Being here is a, uh, a milestone in and of itself, but really, it was it was honestly just for the avatar. And you, can, you guys can see I got all these other avatars as well. Uh, I'm still on the fence about paying for these avatars. I think these are like 15 bucks each, so I'm, I'm like not sure uh, about it. Maybe SWK, because I do like Sun Wukong, just the, the myth, uh, the legend himself. So I wanted to uh, hang out with you guys in this video a little bit, pull some stones. Uh, well, specifically just this um, prism stone here because uh, these were announced and they gave us a free one not too long ago. So I'm going to pull two of these and uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. But before we begin, a word from today's sponsor, you guys, because again, without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you. I could really use a nut and probably like, I wouldn't mind an arbiter, a Cupidus would be pretty cool too to up my Nightmare Hydra damage. Uh, Cardiel could be nice, and of course Taurus, but I don't know, I feel like Taurus has been significantly nerfed with the introduction of King Narses, so we'll see. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we get. And, oh wow, okay. I mean, it's a Renegade, but I already have... I don't even need it because I, I have, um, what do you call it? 
I've got Yumiko. I've got Yumiko and Kaimar and Warlord. All of those cooldown champions. Like, I, I don't really need Renegade for anything, unless I was trying to do a specific composition. We'll see what we get. And an epic. It's an epic. Okay. An epic... Well, I mean, Allure, I'll take that. You know? Because uh, having a, a maxed out, fully, fully blessed Allure can't be bad. She's got her uses, especially in Dark Fae. The disparity between the Krakens or like the, the the big pay to win people versus like the free to play or the low spenders is just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, you guys already know what souls can do for a character. It's just like a, a pseudo, it's like another form of empowerment essentially, right? But you have to pay a lot in order to get these prism soul stones. Like, look at these prices, guys. That's insane. That's a lot of money, dude. Look, 1100 um, let's see, 11, 1100 Prism Jewels for $100. $100 is going to get you uh, 1100 divided by 50, tw uh, 22. 22. You're going to get 22 uh, Soul Stone pulls. And that's just crazy to, to, to think about, to have to, to, to pay for that kind of thing. It's honestly not even unexpected. But at the same time, you kind of just got to roll with it. I don't take the game too seriously. It's, it's kind of like it's a fun thing for me to do, but I don't really stress about it. And I don't like complaining. So, you know, I just kind of roll with the punches. Polarium does what they do. And I just enjoy the game for what it is. If I want to buy something that I buy, it's my money. Why not? And, uh, you know, tax deferrals. Big shout out to HWZ. Uh, HWZ was actually the one of the driving forces behind me getting into content creation. Because one day I was on Twitch and I, you know, I joined, I was one of those guys who joined in for account takeovers and uh, I saw him doing his thing and I was like, you know what, he can do it. I feel like I can do it too. Like, and, and it was just, I don't know what it was. It was inspiring to see uh, HW do his thing. And, you know, I, I gained, you know, some uh, semblance of um, online friendship with him. And so I've got mad respect for him. Most of the content that I cover is going to be champion guides because I just enjoy making champion guides and doing you know the odd composition for teams here and there i don't really like doing clan boss by the way and um you know when it comes to when it comes to doing news for raid i feel like there's a lot of content creators you know even for champion guides and for doing you know how to build a dungeon team there's no shortage of people who can do that there's a lot of content creators who can who, uh, who can provide that for you but you know i just enjoy doing what i do and yeah that's the bulk of my content when it comes to raid another thing about me is that i get sidetracked quite often why did i choose the name burrito slayer i thought the word slay was a strong a cool word an epic word and i love burritos my wife knows I, I love burritos and i eat burritos quite often if you can't tell by the roundness of my face and mister because my daytime job is a teacher so i have kids who call me Mr. So-and-so uh, pretty often. So I just put that name together, Mr. Burrito Slayer, and it just kind of stuck. And so now I'm sticking with it. Initially, I was doing it for the Avatar, but then I fell in love with the process of making content. Like, I actually genuinely enjoy making videos. I enjoy recording videos. I enjoy playing games. I put those two together. And I didn't know this before, but I actually love editing videos. I edit my own videos, both on this channel and my other channel. Although I am, you know, trying to take on a lot of content and I'm trying to do a lot more, that I've had to hire uh, editors. I'll have uh, two editors in my employ and that's gonna help out significantly. But yeah, I, I love uh, doing YouTube. I just enjoy it. And if I'm not doing YouTube, if I'm not making content, I feel like I'm going crazy because I feel like I'm being unproductive. But yeah, so the, you know, I've got a lot of things going on. I have my wife whom I love and I dedicate a lot of my time to on top of doing my two channels and trying to play games and hanging out with my brothers and and doing my you know my full-time job and all that um yeah so you know those are more tidbits about me does raid is is polarium gonna pay me now that i'm an official content creator no i don't get they don't give me money they don't give any content creator money for um doing content for them youtube is gonna pay me through ad revenue um but i'm not doing it for the money i'm doing it just because i fucking love the art i love doing this shit some other common questions that I often get are, what is my race? I'm Filipino. Um, no, I'm not related to Boozer. I unfortunately get that question a lot. What else? I'm 29 years old. I'll be turning 30 soon. Before I was a teacher, I was serving in the military. I served for five years. So if you're a veteran, thank you for your service. Shout out to my wife also, because I wouldn't have been here without her. She bought and built me this PC, this entire setup that I have. 
Uh, so everything I've done, I've done because and through her. Um, so yeah, definitely want to show her some love because I'm in love with her and I love my wife. Just for the moment, because we are celebrating something, I wanted to give you guys more than just prism soul stone pulls. So let's go ahead and pull all of my 26 primal shards here. And let's hope I get a Crixio or an Alas the Sunbearer. I'm going to start off with 6, and then I'm going to roll into uh, 10 pops. Actually, no. You know what? These are Primal Shards. We're going to do one by one, because I, I want to see, in the event that I do get a Mythical Champion, I want to see that singular lightning come out of that shot. Like, I, I want to see it just, you know, just get in there. I want to see it come out and just, like, pop through. You know what I mean? Just pop okay. through right there. Let's do it. All right. First one. By the way, I started another channel. Where I play horror games, so if you're interested in that, I'll link it down below. My first primal shard. And you know, these these shards that I have here, I've had ever since they introduced mythical champions. So like these are all the shards that I've saved up. I haven't pulled any. This is this is my first primal shard opening video ever. Alright, so we don't know who that is. Come on. Oh gosh. I've seen some of these pulls. I've seen some of these uh, videos and and uh, yeah, it, it sucks to see people pull a mythical Eris. You, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be mad if I got a Rotos too. There's an epic, our first mythical epic, Anix. Come on, let's see some red lightning. We got this. Come on. We're celebrating me being a content creator now. Official content creator. I've had people in the comments tell me, like, oh, I, I thought you were an official content creator this whole time. And if you guys are wondering if I'm going to have access to the test server, no, I'm not going to have access to the test server yet. That is reserved for people who make it to, I think, like 8,000 um, subscribers. So, yeah. All right. Nothing yet. Come on, where's the red lightning at? Honestly, these mythical champions are bonkers. I've been going up against... I went up against a level 92 in Live Arena. I went up against somebody who was level 92, and they popped out a bunch of mythicals. I went in with, like, Duchess and Taurus and Yumiko and and um, Jack Sparrow. What's his name? The the fusion that just happened? The one who looks like Jack Sparrow? Uh, Armands. I went in with them, and this guy popped out, like, four mythical... Like, five mythicals, actually. I, I didn't know who to ban. He was level 90, 92 or, or like 92 or 96 or something like that. And he beat me. I was like, what the heck? And I've been playing for a while and I'm pay to win, but guy, this guy was on a different level. He was up in gold live arena with all those four mythicals. And I was just like, damn dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I got wiped. You know, I held my own for a little bit, but you know, you can only do so much sometimes. Wow, these are uh, not looking good. All these primals. Now, normally I say wait for a 2x event, which I should have done, but I wanted to um, do it for the video for the moment. Okay, come on. One mythical. Just one. I only want one mythical. That's all I'm asking for. Come on, Pilarium. Give me that content creator look, if that exists. What's the mercy on this? Was it like every... Is it just like the... Oh my god, that pause, dude. I thought I had it. Well, let me check what the mercy is. Point... Oh no, mercy for primal shard, legendary... Or mythicals. 200. So I have to pull 200 primal shards to get a 10% boost per shard. So after 200 summons without a mythical. That's kind of... That kind of sucks, to be honest. Cause like I've been saving for a long time, and those 26 primal shards are all gone. So it's it's literally like you have to buy these mythical shards if you want a mythical champion. Unless you just get uber lucky. And it looks like I am not. I have four more. I got four more. Okay. Mythical or epic mythical hope. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 
Last one. Last one. Come on. Damn. 